Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my spring 2020 FabFitFun box and add-ons here, finally. I've been seeing a lot of people getting theirs. I'm like, where's mine? So I am just gonna start unboxing it uh, as usual. Um, if you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it's a quarterly, excuse me, <laughs> quarterly subscription box. And it is, if you are annual, you get certain perks and you get a little bit off your box. If you're seasonal, you don't get those perks and your box is a little more expensive. I think it's 50 if you're seasonal and then 45 per quarter if you are annual. So let's see. I will, as usual, put in the description box below what I bought and what I spent on each item in case you're curious to see that. I am gonna just get started. So this is the Grown Alchemist hand cream. I bought two of these, one is for a friend. So I have two, but we're gonna open one and see how it is. I've heard it's really, really amazing. It has a sticker on it that says mystery choice like that. I don't know why they're both in this bag that says mystery choice. So I suppose some people might've gotten it as a mystery choice, so they were pre-bagged, I'm not sure. This is what it looks like, Grown Alchemist. Some people say, you know, hands down, I love anything Grown Alchemist. I really love Grown Alchemist. They're an Australian company, botanical, cruelty-free, non-toxic, uh, sustainable, all those things. I haven't loved everything, but I've loved a lot of their stuff. I do really like them, but we're gonna put this hand cream on right now. Vanilla and orange peel. It's super subtle. Okay, as I rub it out, I smell more citrus. I smell mostly orange. It smells good. Yeah, so seems great. I'll let you know, I, if you are unfamiliar with my channel, I do a lot of product review videos. I haven't been able to do them lately. If you are familiar with my channel, you know that I am definitely in a state of transition. So you're not getting as many videos out of me as usual, but I will return to doing my videos, I promise. Oh, this is for a friend. This is the Levito Renewal Neck Cream. So because it's for somebody else, I'm not gonna open it or test it or anything. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this is also for a friend. This is. Uh, I have a lot in here for friends. Some friends wanted some things. So this is the Ahava Cellulite Control, the Mineral Body Shaper. I like Ahava products. Again, they're a great company, but I don't hands down love everything from them, but I have used a few things and I do like that, them overall as a brand. So this isn't for me either, so I'm not opening that. You'll see how much it costs in the description box below. Here is, this is a necklace. So I typically say, you know, avoid jewelry on FabFitFun unless you really look at the materials it's made out of and and there have been a couple of necklaces lately that I have liked that were made out of materials that I was okay with. This one was, I think it says gold plated here, but it's by Jennifer Zuner. And I've noticed that her stuff in the sales is made out of decent materials. So this was a $20 necklace and I thought it was very, very pretty. And I decided to go ahead and buy myself a necklace for work. I started a new job and I thought it was pretty. So here it is. <laughs> so it's a dainty gold, I think it was gold plated stainless steel, if I remember correctly, or it might've been gold plated sterling silver. So there it is. So this is something that I know and I love. This is the Hyaluron Skin Essence. It is by Handskin. I have this bottle from previous sale and it's getting really low. So I wanted a backup and this one came just in time. I did get a smaller version of this bottle in a, in a sale recently and I thought, oh great, I'll get this one for myself and then I will gift the other one to a friend who also likes skincare. So this is it. And I have this bottle. This one's 10 ounce and the one that I'm going to gift was 5 ounces. So this one I'm almost done with and it lasted me a year. It lasted me a whole year. So I'm good until winter 2021. Actually, it's still going. There's still like this much left in it. So it's lasting over a year. I got a couple of different shampoos and conditioners that were really well, highly rated. So this one is the Puff Me. So I'm gonna try this one out and I will let you know what I think. I'll do a product review video as soon as I can and I'll tell you about, I'll have a whole bunch of products to tell you about. It has like a fresh smell. I can smell it through the bottle. It has like a fresh smell, a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet, a little baby powdery maybe. 
Interesting. So we'll see. I uh, Somebody said that they really liked uh, something else by this brand. So I'm going to give it a go. It had good reviews. If you are curious how things are going in my life, I will do what I've been doing, which is give a brief update at the end of this video. So stay tuned till the end. Here is another shampoo and conditioner set. This one also had really good reviews. This one had even better reviews actually on Ulta. It's the Vore. I had never heard of it before. So I'm set on shampoo and conditioner for a while and these were all really great prices. I think it worked out to where each of these were like $8. So that's practically drugstore price. So this is the Vore uh, shampoo and conditioner. So I am set on shampoo and conditioner, like I said, for a little bit. This is the Air Surf Mud Body Oil. Uh, this is for a friend who wanted it. I am not gonna open it because of that. I have used one thing by Air and I it was a face wash and I did like it. I didn't like it at first actually, but it grew on me and I did like it. They're also a sustainable company based out of New York. This is more, so this one is also by the same brand who did this. So they, this one's Puff Me, this one's Gloss Me. So this is just a hair product, hair serum. It's cannabis sativa seed oil hair serum. And I've noticed when I use like hemp seed oils in my hair or things like that, it tends to work really well. I went back and forth about using this uh, or getting this, I'm sorry, but I figured I would go ahead and try it. I go through hair products really, really quickly. So I'll give this a try. Just super curious about that brand. I had never heard of them and they just showed up in the sale and someone was, people were kind of excited to see it. So this one is more Vore. So this shampoo and conditioner set that I showed you, this is another thing. This is their signature product, product, signature product, and it's called She's Like the Wind. It's their invisible dry shampoo and conditioner, which usually you just see something that's a dry shampoo. This one also claims to be a conditioner. It's it. They brag about this the most. It's what you go to their website and this is what's featured on their website. So it has also has really amazing reviews. This pro, this brand had really amazing reviews on Ulta. I really like it when I can see reviews on Ulta and Sephora for something that I wanna buy. That makes me feel more comfortable about buying it. So this I have talked about, I've done videos dedicated to this product. I'm really excited to see things buy this hair care line show up in FabFitFun sales. And uh, this is the AG Hair Care Recoil. It is the best curl product I have ever used if you want and are going for a really defined curl. I have a video where I show you how to use it to get the best curl and, and to make it work the best way you possibly can. I will put a link to that video in the description box below. It is great. It smells like, it smells slightly like a Shirley Temple, so kind of like an artificially cherry sweet smell, but still Shirley Temples are really yummy, so they're good. Anyway, that's kind of what it reminds me of. It smells like a Shirley Temple to me, but not too, too strong. I really like this stuff. I really, really like it. And then I also bought, this is a scalp treatment. It was an extra five bucks to get it in a bundle and get this as well. I don't actually typically have too many scalp issues. I do get a little bit of dandruff sometimes, and I do have some patches like right here and here that are very thin that I would love to try to get to grow in a little bit thicker. And this claims to work wonders for any kind of scalp issue, mainly dry, itchy scalp, but it also claims to help with hair growth. But the main thing is dry, itchy scalp. But I, it was an extra $5 and I threw it in. And whether or not I use it, I'm not sure. I may end up gifting it to somebody I know who has problems like that. And then I maxed out on this. I love this stuff. Marrakesh is turning out to be really amazing. I have to do a product review video for you guys. I just used their styling cream from a prior sale and I am powering through that bottle. It is so good. I really like it and it smells so nice. And so I got three of their, uh, these, this is the Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy Leave-In Treatment and Detangler. I go through these really, really quickly, two of theirs. So they were in there for $5 and I am going to power through these as well. I just know it. I love this stuff. So here is, this is huge. I did not expect this to be so big. This is more by that Puff Me, Gloss Me, Fab Me, all of these, this line, or leave-in conditioner. 
and it's really big. I did not expect that. How many ounces is this? Oh, it's seven. Why is this container so bulky? <laughs> oh, and it's a spray. Oh, it's a leave-in conditioning spray. Oh, I didn't expect that. So that's like this stuff. Uh, uh, it, I thought it was gonna be like a cream leave-in conditioner, but that's okay. I love sprays as well. I'm gonna give this a try. I'll do a review on the line, um, the stuff that I have from the line to let you know what I think of it. Now this is Pixie stuff. It was so fun to see that they had Pixie stuff available in the sale. So I, of course, of course I got their Glow Tonic and their Glow Mist. I have the Hydrating Milky Mist. Uh, from Pixie that is like this. It comes in the spray and I like to keep it by my bed so that sometimes in the morning if I'm having a really hard time waking up, actually I don't know where it is right now because all of my life is in boxes, but if I'm having a really hard time waking up, I like to keep a face spray by the bed and just spritz my face with it. It helps a lot. You know what? Let's just see how it is. Okay, so the oil definitely separates, which is a little strange, but Okay, one thing I really like about the Pixie spray bottles is it's the best mist spray that I have ever used for a product like this. I have seen some people say that theirs were faulty, which is a bummer, but if yours works, this is the best mist spray. A lot of times the spray is just too direct and it's like, ugh, <laughs> and it doesn't feel as good. This feels amazing. Well, let's see. Hopefully this one does too. It does. It has that really nice spray. It has... Hardly any scent. I'm trying to pick up on what it might smell like, but it barely smells like anything. <laughs> but that feels really good. So that's that. And then I picked up two. So I can have this set as a really nice gift for maybe my sister-in-law next Christmas or something. Okay, so this I picked up in, as an extra for my box. This I have heard a lot of really good things about light therapy. I don't know anything about the science behind it. If you do, please share in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. I mean, I know a little bit about what I've read, but I'm not a scientist, so I'm not gonna try to go into it. So it looks like this batteries are included. Oh, <laughs> batteries are included. And it this one is primarily for wrinkles so I would use this around my eyes you know when I went in to see my dermatologist once I brought the Murad lightning serum with me which has hydroquinone quinone I always want to say quinone hydroquinone and I asked my dermatologist if it was okay to use and she handed it back to me and she said that's fine to use it might work what really works that you should look into if you want to look into anything like that is light treatment she said you could go in and you can get a treatment and that seems to be very effective so it was dermatologist recommended and that's when I heard about it about six or eight months ago or something so so there are different light treatment devices to target different things. Like I said, this one's for wrinkles. They have it for acne. I would really like for one for dark spots. I have sun damage on my chest that I feel a little bit self-conscious about. We're going to experiment with that. Maybe I'll make a video where I use it for 30 days and do a before and after or something like that. Now to the box. Here it is. It is very cute and springy. Who would we have? Oh yeah, that's right. It's Gina Rodriguez. She's from like uh, Jane the Virgin and some movies and stuff like that. And then in here we have the prices of everything and everything we could have chose from. So I will go through, show you what I chose, what I could have picked and it will be great. Okay, so I had a friend who wanted a lot of the stuff that was in the sale. So. A lot of what I picked is actually for her and not even for me. This must be something that everyone got. So this is silicone straws. Chic and Tonic silicone straws. They are re worth $15 and there are four of them and they feel like silicone. And this thing, a scrubber and this thing. What is that thing? A plastic case. I guess, I guess the straws, they're rubbery so they can roll up and maybe fit in here. And then you can keep it in your purse if you're somebody who goes out to eat a lot and uses straws. That one might be a gift, we'll see. Okay, so that was one of the choices. They're doing this new thing where you get a choice. It's not a choice, but you get one of two things and it's they pick for you. So either those or it could have been Wander Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I would have much preferred that. Retails for $26 and it looks like that. 
The next thing is also, I believe, one of those situations where you could have either gotten one thing or another, but I couldn't pick it. It was just, they picked it. So this is the Perlise, which people love Perlise, and I remember this product and almost buying it before, so that's a nice surprise. This is the Watermelon Energizing 2-Minute Polishing Peel. So it could have got, and that one retails for $35. And so I could have either gotten this or I could have gotten a lip balm by Winky Lux that would have retailed for $18 or does retail for $18 and that's it right there. I have plenty of lip balms so I am very happy with what I got for that selection. Now is oh something by This Works. This is a multitasking beauty sleep savior for better nights and brighter mornings. So it looks like that and this must have been another thing where you could have gotten one or the other of something. So this, this works stuff is really expensive. So this retails for $40. Use nightly after bathing and before bed time to restore and nourish the skin whilst you sleep. A powerful anti-aging super blend of shea butter, butter, cranberry, and camelina sativa oils to nourish, support, and preserve skin vitality in pure essential oils of lavender, vetiver, and chamomile to help improve sleep quality. Support sleep and skin wellness at night with a two-in-one beauty sleep solution. Massage nightly into hands and body and breathe in deeply. It's sealed, but I can kind of smell through it. That ever is kind of strong. We'll see what I think of that. Okay, so and then the next thing, you could have either gotten that, this works, or you could have gotten a Wish Blue Matcha Restoring Mask, and that retails for $58. And it looks like this. It's right there. I probably would have preferred that one too. I know that I would have. So choice number seven actually also included the option of a sponge gel. Not an option, it wasn't an option. You could have gotten a sponge gel. So that was the straws. So for the first thing I opened, there was the straws or the Wander mascara, or you could have gotten a sponge gel. I missed another one. You could have, for, for this one, you could have gotten this, that lip balm I showed you, or you could have gotten the Avene, what is this? Thermal spring water. It looks like that. That's worth $14 and it's a face it's a face spray. And then now to the choices. I have a friend who wanted a bunch of stuff from this box. So she wanted this brush, this hairbrush. And so I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna look at it. It's a detangling brush. I'm not sure what's so fancy about it. I didn't really look into it when she wanted it. The Aria Beauty Luxe Detangling Electroplated Brush. Perfect for all hair types. The extended bristles offer easy detangling and reduce stress to the hair and scalp. And it's worth $35. So that better be a good brush. And then I don't think I picked anything else for myself from that choice, but you could have gotten Marianella body oil, which I've seen in FabFitFun sales quite a bit. Or you could have gotten the Aveda Damage Ready Daily Hair Repair, which I already have from a box. Everyone got it not too long ago. I think it was last summer maybe. Um, and I don't know what to think of that product quite yet. Uh, I'll let you, I need to use it a couple more times before I form an opinion. So far, I think it's kind of useless, but I also think that perhaps it's user error. The Marianella body oil was worth, is worth $68. And then the Aveda Damage Ready is worth $31. And then you could have gotten these tea towels as well. Retail for $38. Those better be some nice tea towels too. So this is AG Hair Care again. I talked about this earlier in the add-ons. And then this is just one of the best leave-in conditioners I've ever used. It's also by AG Hair Care, obviously. It's fast food. The smell on this one is a little bit, it's not very strong at all, and it's a little bit strange. It smells a little bit like cough syrup, I would say. So it's not awful, but it's a little bit weird. Like there's a little bit of a cough syrupy element, and then there's a little bit of like a, a fruity melon kind of element to it too. It works so well, it's worth it. So if you're a leave-in conditioner person, highly, highly recommend, and this was awesome to see in the sale. This retails for $24, or you could have gotten hand wash, Smith French Dub Dublin, 
worth $22. So that's that one. Or you could have gotten the Love Script Body Wash worth $28. So that's that one. That They've had this brand in sales quite a bit. Or you could have gotten a waterproof speaker worth $24.99. I personally think that if you want to get like a good speaker for music, you might want to invest in something a little bit better than that. Uh, some can really get degraded in cheap quality speakers. You could have gotten the Apare uh, Salt and Pepper Mill. This was also in boxes recently, uh, and that's worth twenty one ninety five. And then you could have gotten, and then you could have gotten the Ciate London Fierce Flix Precision Tip Liquid Liner for nineteen dollars. I have liked Ciate stuff. For the next choice, I chose the Green Goo Hibiscus Plant Based Body Scrub. I did get this in a, the Spring Editors box. And I smelled it and it smelled so good and I ended up gifting it for Christmas to my sister-in-law. But it just smells like it's like really like fruity and a little bit tropical and I'm, I, without taking the seal off, I'm excited to try this. So I was excited to get the opportunity to get it again because I didn't really intend for it to be a gift, but I was put, doing Christmas presents and... I needed something. So that retails for $35. You could have also gotten from that choice the double coin necklace. And I thought this was really, really cute. I ended up not getting it because it didn't even say exactly what it was made of. So I figured it's probably not made of the best materials and it says it retails for $50. So that was one of those instances, like I mentioned earlier with their jewelry, where I just don't, I just don't buy it. I just don't literally i just don't buy it uh that's a personal thing uh, so and then there was the gravity weighted sleep mask that retails for 39.99 i actually was a little intrigued by this i think that weighted blankets and stuff could be really good for anxiety people who suffer from anxiety i thankfully don't but i really feel for people who do or you could have gotten the vitamin c mixing crystals by Cosmetics, which is a pretty decent brand. It's all cruelty-free, non-toxic, sustainable. So I'm just going to use the word sustainable for those kinds of companies when I want to explain that, I think, here on out. So that retails for $54. I still haven't jumped on board with like the powder <laughs> products that you have to mix with water and I have no idea why because they're perfect for travel. I just, I need to get used to that whole concept. There was something else from that choice. Oh, and it was this glow mask collection by Wei, W-E-I, two-in-one purify and glow mask collection worth $45. So it had eight little pods of mask treatments in it. Now I am so happy because in the first choice that was available, they had this, which I have raved about in other videos. It feels so good when it goes on, and there's something about the smell that chemically for my brain just makes it go kind of bonkers. This is what it looks like. I don't know why it comes in such a big box. You know how some smells you just like, you, you just can't get enough of it, that this is like that for me. It's kind of like a milky, cinnamony, gingerbready. It's just really interesting, the smell. Anyway, I think it's fantastic. And Elemis makes great stuff. They used to have better prices on their products in the sale, but not so much anymore. This is worth $68. And then you could have gotten that. You could have gotten... The Summer and Rose Tote, which I have and I have been using and I really like and it's great quality. It says it retails for $50. Yeah, okay, okay, maybe 40, but okay. And then the light therapy thing, which you saw I did add and that is worth $68. Oh, forgive me, this is worth $59. And the light therapy thing was worth $68. And then you could have gotten this cardigan like thing and that is worth $99, $99. So that's probably really, really well made. I remember I just didn't love the color and I felt like I could find something that I could try on. Anyway, so then you could get this caravan woven rug and that retails for $48. You could have gotten, oh, the West Elm tie-dye bowls. 
people love these. They seem, I mean, they're cute. It just seems like they're bowls. Uh, but those retail for $39. And that was it for that choice. Now I have one more thing in here. And this was also something my a friend of mine wanted. So I got this, uh, I chose this for her and then I didn't feel like I needed to choose anything else. These are the packing cubes. So these retail for $40. And I'm not gonna get into opening these because they're for her. But there are the three, and they did open these on the spoiler videos. So I'm just gonna put those aside for her as well. For that choice, you could have gotten those, and they have them in two different colors. You could have gotten the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion, which was worth $78, and it's this green one right here. Or you could have gotten the umbrella, which was so cute. I almost got it for myself, but then I thought, I have umbrellas, I don't need it. And then I, you could have gotten the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drink of Water Hydrating Boost Moisturizer uh, for $39, it's that one. Or you could have gotten the Pro Glow Highlight and Contour Palette, which I actually have. A friend sent it to me, and that's worth $45. It's that one. I haven't actually gotten around to using it, and now it's packed up in storage. I got, or, or I didn't get this. You could have gotten the 111, Squin 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster worth $135. And that's right there. Not sure what I think about that company. Okay, so that's everything. That is everything that I got. That's everything that you could have gotten in the box. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I promise my videos are usually better than this. I am in transition. So the update on everything is that we are an escrow on a house. So they accepted our offer. We're in escrow. Inspections tomorrow. It's moving along. I can't wait. My husband and I, my parents have been so gracious. My husband and I are really looking forward to having our own space. And fingers crossed, just everything goes well. I am five, six months pregnant. It's hard to convert the weeks to the months, but let's see if I can show you. So it's a little bit of a strange angle, but there it is, there is the baby. And everything is healthy and well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.